Uh, welcome back, folks. Right now, I'm uh, actually in the 6190. Um, I'm pulling out to clean the inside and possibly change the fuel filters on it, go through the cab filters, and get it ready for uh, tillage this spring for run the fuel cultivator. So, just stay tuned for that. You can tell she's a little cleaner, comes nice and shiny. But uh, I'll get the inside all cleaned up, like I've been saying. So right now I'm going to replace the fuel filters. I just got the, the filters in that white box right there. And then, so, I replace the filter and then I think it's on this side. Down there, I believe. The, the filter, another filter's in there. So, do that and then, yeah. And then I think I'm going to move on to clean the cab, clean all the glass vacuuming, taking some armor all to it, and then look at some other stuff for maintenance wise, make sure everything else checks out, clean the filters like I've been saying, so yeah. Just gonna make sure the part numbers line up. So we got RE five four one seven four seven. RE five four one seven four seven. Perfect. So we got this one that goes there, and then whoops, and then this guy. So I'm replacing the fuel filter here and. I finally got this connector, sensor, whatever, disconnected. Now we gotta take this apart, so. Gonna need this guy. Okay, so I got the new filter in there. You can kind of see it's a lot cleaner than the old one. Um, next, I gotta go over here, take this one apart, or take this one out, put the new one in, if you can see that one. All right, um, good thing I put that in there because there was quite a bit of diesel fuel that came out and I just drained it, so hopefully when I cycled the key, it should fill up again. Um, I think it's in there, right? Looks good. Put this connector back on when I'm ready to um turn the key and let the filter cycle today when i went to our dealer john new dealer midwest machinery northfield um they didn't have our mirror in yet because i got to replace the glass on that mirror it's busted from the stock chopper um so they didn't have that in yet that was around lunchtime when i went to that so noon and they weren't coming in it wasn't coming in until 2 30 and um i wasn't gonna run back out there today so i grabbed fuel filters um Let's look at fuel filters, telc, uh, at 80%, 20% mix of telc and graphite for the planter and a new battery for the lawnmower. So new battery's in, 
And now I'm just working on the fuel filters and uh, yeah, so. See, it's filling up with fuel. It ain't leaking out anywhere. Well, I finished uh, cycling, so just check for leaks. Looks good. I'll start it just to make sure it all and then it runs normal. All right, so now that the fuel filter, fuel filters are done, this one right here and that one right there. Both on, there's no leaks. Fuel looks good, filled up perfectly. Um, I can shut the hood on this. And now, like I said, all I wanna do is clean the inside of the cab, which I don't even really have to show you because so they're just using armor all and uh, towels just to wipe it all down, use a vacuum, and I'll be done with this tractor. Uh, the mirror did come in for it, but I'm not gonna go get it right now because they're gonna be closed in an hour and I gotta eat. And uh, I wanna get this cab cleaned. I guess I could run there because I don't have much going on tonight either, so. Huh. Maybe I should. We'll see. Well, I just got eating supper and I uh, just got done with chores as well. Now I'm on to cleaning the cab out. I don't know if you can kind of see. It ain't that dirty in here. Just want to get all the dust off of it, get it smelling good. I vacuumed the floor, but I should scrub it with something if I really want it to look nice. Um, I got the new mirror in, so it's not cracked anymore. Um, so I did go, I did go pick it up, you know, I, it's like, you know what, I can, I can make it there in 40, like a 40 minute round trip and still have time for supper. And so I ran and got it, uh, when I'm simple. So now I just got to finish cleaning the inside and that'll be it. So, well, folks, that's it for this tractor. I, uh. Got it all cleaned up. Windows are crystal clear for the most part. Um, mirrors are crystal clear. The inside's pretty much clean. I could scrub the floor, but I don't think I will. Um, it's because it's gonna get dirty again. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, this thing should be ready to go. Like I said, um, fuel filters are done. Cabs cleaned. Mirror that was broken is fixed. Uh, there's no oil that needs to be changed because it was changed 13 hours ago. Um, so she's ready to she's ready to rock. Before I forget, I blew out this air filter already, so I'm just trying to put it back in. So you pull it out, take your compressor, blow it on it, and pull that little one out, and that's inside there that you can't really see it. But this guy, pull that out, take the air compressor to them both, slide them back in like that. And close it all right uh, everything's done this tractor now filters are all blown out i just realized that i forgot to do that so i got them done and everything else i just stated is all done so i'm gonna put her away in the shed for now and dad clean up the shop a little bit i know you can't really tell but you should have seen it before um today we actually had to take off one of these cylinders on a skill loader here um, it was leaking. I still must be out on it. So we took it to our to a local bobcat dealer, and they're gonna have it done within a day or two. That's what all these tools are here for to take that off. So this thing's out of commission for a while. Um, that's all I got for you. It's a beautiful night, actually. Way better than yesterday. Yesterday we were getting snowed on, but today it's a lot better and a lot more beautiful. Feels like an actual spring April day. So that's what I love. Tractor is all cleaned up, ready to go. So I'm excited about that. Fuel cultivator is all ready. Next is just this, the planter tractor, the 7230. 
and the planter get them both pulled out here whenever the weather kind of gets nicer it's supposed to rain this week wednesday through friday we're supposed to get around a half inch to an inch something like that so i don't know if we'll take get any of them out this week depending on how the weather is tomorrow evening maybe i will pull up the 7230 and at least wash it um but yeah that's all i got for you tonight hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night or day or whatever you guys are watching this video welcome back guys um I'm gonna, this is gonna merge into another merge into one of my videos um right now i got 6190 out she's all ready to go besides i'm gonna um change the oil and the axle here the front hubs here um i'm gonna do that quick i just got back from fleet farm i'm gonna grab the oil adw 90 we did on the 7230 when we switched the tires around which i did not get on video um it was kind of like uh, one of those things where we just decided to do it and that was it i didn't really have enough time to like okay let's take a video you know so um so fleet farm special ouch that hurt it takes uh i can't remember how many gallons or like a half gallon maybe i don't know i don't know the specific the specific measurement that's in these hubs here. So I'm just gonna get a drain pan and I'm gonna drain it. Let's see, I'll go like this. Let me grab this guy. Well, let's grab a little smaller one, I guess. Do this. That'll do, I think. That, and then I'll grab a funnel, half inch ratchet, this guy, it's fairly clean. I'll probably clean a little bit more. There, <laughs> that's much better. Just let it drain here and then uh, we'll put some new oil in there. For some of you who didn't know, there is a magnet on these, uh, let's see if it focuses at all, on these um, plugs here. It just catches, you know, a little bit of that, um, those metal flakes that come off those uh, gears in there because um, you know, when they constantly rub together, there's probably a little bit that comes off. So that magnet's supposed to catch it so just rub it off and yeah just like that she's clean that's the magnet right where my thumb's at all right now that i got it in place i'm going to take some of this with that funnel up there and i'm going to fill it up Oh, I think it's full. I'm gonna get a flashlight and just look in there to make sure, but it was coming out the side. As you can see, there's a little oil from it overfilling, but take a look. So as you can see, you can see the level of the oil in there. So it's pretty, pretty close to full. I'm gonna try and top it out just a little bit and it'll be on this side. All right, now I'll just screw this in because she's all full and go to the other side.
Cool, looks good. That way, if something happens. You guys saw it was full. Still leaking. What do you have to say to that? Yeah. Turn the lights on? Yeah. How come? We'll put it back in the shed. Once I'm done cleaning it up here. As always, I'm thankful for you guys and all your support. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Um, comment. Everything you can do helps me. Uh, helps more people see this video and these videos that I, that I put out there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.